Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to take a look at a new feature for converting CAD objects to survey so that we can actually use them in our survey project. So what we have here in Traverse PC, we've got lot boundaries for a small subdivision. Um, the uh, Engineers and designers have sent us a, an AutoCAD file, a DWG file, which we have open over here in the CAD view. Uh, and it's got uh, various things on it. What we need to do, we need to get out in the field and we need to stake out the building so that they can start pouring foundations. So here in the CAD view, I need to get these uh, building foundations converted to survey data so that we can take it out in the field. So I'm going to come to the CAD view. I'll go into Layers. And I'm going to select our Building Lines layer, and I'll just tell Traverse PC to convert it to Survey. I'm going to give the Traverse a name. So I'm going to say Foundation, Lot, and just nothing else. Tell it the Traverse View format I want, how I want it displayed in my drawing, and I'll say OK. Now, Traverse PC tells me that we have more than one entity selected, and it's asking if we want individual traverses for each one. I'm going to say yes, because we don't want all these buildings in the same traverse. Now tra I close this layer dialog, and we can go to the Traverses Manager, and we find that now we have all of these House Foundation traverses. I'm going to go ahead and select them, tag them into our drawing, and now we can see the foundations on our drawing. Now these are not the right lot numbers for our foundations, as we'll see here. So I'm going to zoom in on this north section of the project here. Zoom in a little bit tighter, and you can see that this is lot 7 here. So I'm going to put my cursor over this, and it's labeled currently Foundation Lot 5. So I'm going to right-click on this Traverse line, go to Traverse Properties, and I'm going to just change this. I'll put a space 7 and say OK. So now that's the foundation for Lot 7. Here's Lot 6. It's labeled Lot 7 without a space. I'll go to Traverse Properties and change this to Space 6. Choose OK. Here's Lot 8 over here. I'll go ahead and do the same with this. It's labeled as 6. We'll go into the Traverse Properties and change this to Space 8. So I'm doing this so that these will match up to our lots, and as we go forward with this project, we'll be able to create other drawings and know which house foundation to, to use on which lots and which drawings. So I've got all my lots here, and we're going to pretend that I've gone in and uh, adjusted these Traverse names to match their lots. But now I'm going to need corner offsets for all of these buildings. So I'm going to select all of my foundations. I'll go to Kogo, and I'll say Corner Offsets. Yes, I want to do all 15 traverses, and then I can select the distance that I want off of each of these corners for my corner offsets. I'll go ahead and hit Compute and Close, and as you can see now, we have five-foot offsets off of each building corner. So at this point, we can go back to our Traverses Manager. We can select our foundations or foundations and lots, whatever we want to export, and we can export it out to our data collector, go out in the field, and stake out all of these house corners. And that's how easy it is now to convert things from the CAD view into survey data that we can get out and use in the field. Thank you.